What's going on YouTube? I told y'all I will find it. I will find a play that burns multiple defenses. This play burns cover two, cover three, and cover four, and you can easily beat man out of the formation that you're in. This is the money play to be using right now. This is the best play in the game, hands down. You literally can beat every single coverage out there. The play that I'm talking about right now is gun, deuce, close, mesh, spot. This is in the Baltimore Ravens playbook. Um, I had a hell of a time using this play in regular head-to-head. -head. I was also using it in mutt, um, and it's in, it's very effective in both. Um, for the most part, I was using the Ravens, but I did try different teams out. Um, but very successful play. This is going to be one of the plays that, I mean, you can just stay in this formation all day, and it is very hard to stop because of the formation that it is. Um, you can do so many things out of it uh, on top of having the money play. So let's go ahead and jump into the practice field. I'm going to show y'all how to set this up and I'm going to show y'all how well this works against all zones. All right, first things first, this is one of those plays. It does matter what hash you're on. If you're on the left hash, you want your running back on the left side of the field. If you're on the right hash, you want your running back on the right side of the field. We're going to start against cover three because it's the most glitchiest against cover three. And that's the one, that's the coverage I've been bombing the most. A uh, couple things. On the left side, the, the side where the running back's going to be on, that wide receiver doesn't necessarily need to be fast. But the receiver that's on the opposite side of the running back, where B's at, you're going to want a burner. 93 speed or better, because that's what you're going to need to burn cover four and cover two. Like I said, against cover three, you don't need a burner. Um, the receiver X is going to do just fine with, you know, 90 speed, 92 speed. Now, don't get me wrong. It doesn't hurt to have a burner on both sides of the field if you can. Uh, but you don't necessarily need them for uh, cover three, which you're going to see right here. So what you're going to do, you have two options. You could put X on a streak or you could put him on the little fade. Uh, it, you know, he just goes out just a little bit more. I prefer the fade because he doesn't get bumped as much. Um, and the bump actually doesn't really hurt too much, but I prefer him not to get bumped. That's literally the only change you have to make right there. And we're going to go ahead and burn cover three. Pay attention to the cornerback. He drops out of his zone and you just throw that ball over their heads. Uh, watch right here. The cornerback's going to drop down. Once he does that, you're just going to go ahead and launch that ball right over their head. Like I said, Sammy Watkins isn't the fastest receiver, but you can see it's still effective. Um, obviously, if you have somebody faster, I recommend that. Like I would probably put Duvernay here, but I just wanted to show you, you don't need somebody fast. Um, and there's different things you can do. See, that's the only adjustment you need to make to burn cover three. But um, you can do different things like put your tight end on a delay fade. Um, you can put your tight end on a five and out or a ten and out like this. There's so many things you can do because all it requires, you do not change the running back's route. The running back's route is what makes that cornerback get out of his zone. Watch what happens if I block the running back. You're not going to get the same results. That that cornerback is not going to drop out of his zone. You see how he continues to sprint back like that? You need the running back in that route in order to make this work. You won't be able to glitch the cornerback if you take that running back out of the route that he's in. That's what makes it work. So make sure you leave the running back in the route he's in. And a lot of times the running back also gets open himself. Um, like let's say they manually use that cornerback and they go far back. I'll see if I can get it to, to happen. It's gonna be kind of hard because it's I gotta uh, you know I need the, the computer to do it. But let's say the cornerback goes back too far. Um, A is gonna bring down that purple. Well, that time he actually didn't. But depending on you know their purple zone, if they have it playing real low right there, I could have just hit the tight end. A lot of times what's been happening in regs lately that I've been playing in, they've been having their, their flat or their purple zone playing really low and the running back gets wide open. Um, I actually have a few clips of it. I should have added it so you can see what I was talking about. But that's the easiest way to beat cover three right there. You're going to glitch that cornerback every single time. Just don't mess up that. The, you can see right there. Look, he turned around. That's just a bad pass. I'm waiting too long. Um, you don't need to get out the pocket at all. Uh, I'll go ahead and stay in the pocket. I was too focused on other things, but go ahead. Go ahead. You can stay inside the pocket if you need to. Uh, once he turns around like that to backpedal, that's when you're going to throw the ball. You can see he just didn't catch it right there. <coughs> but it, it's it's real easy to burn cover three. And now if you can get out the pocket, because Escape Artist is so OP this year. It is insanely good. 
it is way better than it was last year. If you can get outside the pocket, by, by all means, get outside the pocket. It's going to be an easier throw for you. You can see right there, right over his head. Um, and that's just the, the simplest way to be cover three. Let's go ahead and jump into cover two. Same thing on the hash. It doesn't matter what coverage they're in. You're going to want to make sure whichever side, whatever hash you're on, you want your running back on that side. It's not going to change no matter what coverage they're in. Now, if you know they're not in cover three, you don't need to put X on this route. You can leave them on his little route that he's on, uh, that little slant hitch route right there. You can leave it just, you can leave the play just like this and burn cover two. Let's go ahead and leave it with no adjustments. The only thing I'm going to do is uh, double team the most outside guy uh, blitzing. Um, and once again, if you can get outside the pocket, by all means, get outside the pocket and you're just going to lead that ball all the way to the right side of the field. And this is why you need that burner. He dropped the ball right there. Um, now there's, there's different ways you can make this work a little bit better. You can put the tight end on a street and that'll make that safety stay a little true to the center of the field instead of kind of, uh, you know, going out to the right, uh, to keep up with the wide receiver. But um you know you have less blockers because i when it usually when i'm doing this and i know they're in some type of cover too i'm gonna put the tight end on the delay fade um and it's gonna help me get outside the pocket if i need to and it's just an easy throw you you have to hold the stick all the way to the right i mean literally it's it's hard to lead balls this year um on street routes like this so you need to make sure you hold the left stick all the way to the right but you can see that i am burning them um i'm able to get past them but that's why you need the burner so this is what i'm going to go ahead and do and put that tight end on a streak to keep that uh safety a little more true to himself and just like that you just got to bomb it over his head and it, it, it you really get the same results even if you put that tight end on the streak um it, it's just a simple simple fact that you're gonna be able to pass that that safety up because the zone he's in and um you just need that speed to get past them. And as long as you got somebody like uh, Marquise, you, and you're gonna need somebody with some decent speed. Um, it just it also depends on the safety. You know, if you have a really slow safety back there, you know, you, it probably will work with somebody with like 93 speed. But if they got somebody with some like respectable speed, you're gonna want somebody like Marquise Brown, Henry Ruggs, Tyree Kill, somebody like that. But you can see that he just gets past them, just lead that ball up, not up, but all the way to the right. And you can see it's it's consistent. I'm able to burn them every single time. Even if you click on with that safety, maybe if you have Acrobat, you'll be able to jump that, but uh, highly unlikely. Let's jump into cover four. All right, this is gonna be a gets a cover four drop. Same thing, you're gonna be able to burn that safety over the top. The cornerback is basically gonna be non-existence because he gets into that back pedal position and he just completely take him out the play. So I'm gonna go ahead and double team the most outside guy blitzing. I'm also gonna go ahead and put my tight end on the delay fade and I'm just gonna leave everything as is uh, and go ahead and run the play and see what happens. Uh, like I said, if you can get outside the pocket, it helps just that much more with the pass. And you can see you lead that ball all the way to the right side of the field. I, I don't want to hear anybody try to tell me that you can click on that safety and jump that ball. I don't know how many times I scored against cover four by bombing the ball all the way to the right side of the field. If you think you can go ahead and do it, I mean, by, by all means, stay in cover four. Uh, wait till I throw the ball, click on and try to intercept it. I guarantee you, you're probably you're, you're most likely not going to intercept it um because i i know i have people that try to tell me oh i could speed uh speed boost by clicking on i it hasn't happened to me yet i the only time i've thrown a pick is if uh because i did a bad pass where i let the ball up instead of to the outside as long as you hold that stick all the way to the right you're gonna get that pass you want like that uh and it's gonna be an easy touchdown these are simple ways to burn cover for um once you start burning them you know uh with all the defenses they're trying they, you know they're going to start throwing all kinds of things they can at you to stop these specific routes um they're going to man up you know the x receiver they're going to man up the b receiver uh on top of having the safeties on top i promise you if, if you leave the play like this the tight ends get open the running back gets open um change it up put the tight the, the a tight end on a, a 10 and out like that there's so many things you can do out of this formation Let, let's just go ahead and run the play as is you can see the tight end gets open. Why right there? Easy money right there. There's so many things. This formation is deadly. There's so many things you can do out of it. Um, on top of that, it the uh, the inside zone split is actually a really good run play. 
Uh, I had a lot of su uh, success running the, the ball just like this. Um, the blocking is phenomenal without any type of abilities in this game. Like, uh, it, it's hard to stop the run sometimes. And on top of that, you break so many tackles. I don't know how many times I went against Derrick Henry, and he is, I, mind you, I know it's Derrick Henry, but the same thing with J.K. Dobbins. Like, I've, breaking, I've broken so many tackles because they, they just arm tackle. They It just, the, the tackling is not that good. The defense in general is just not that good this year. Like, I'm not liking the defense at all. It's tough. Like, I, I, I play a high high risk high reward defense I, I blitz and i just try to pick up whoever i think is they're gonna throw the ball to um and i'm gonna drop those defenses for you they're very similar to madden 21 but um this is the play man this is an op play right here you you've seen cover three you've seen cover two you've seen it against cover four uh we're we'll running one more time against cover four we'll actually stay in the pocket this time and just lead that ball out to the right uh, and you can see the, the pass isn't as good if you don't get outside the pocket. It is very hard to lead the ball this year. So just, just mind you, if you can get outside the pocket, get outside the pocket. Um, and there is different plays you can run to burn cover for. Uh, there you go. That's a better pass right there. Uh, just one, because the safety, the way he, he drops back in his zone. And that's what's killing him. Um, if he would switch his hips a lot sooner and sprint downfield with Marquise Brown, he'll have a better chance of stopping the ball. Um, but there are so many routes that can just beat cover four, cover three, cover two. Um, I, I I really hope, like, don't get me wrong, I love having money plays um, and videos about money plays to drop for y'all. But at the end of the day, I, I'd rather them fix these problems. I, like, look at the cornerback. I'd rather them fix that problem with that cornerback right there um, he's the reason that this play is working, and that's another reason I make these videos. Hopefully, uh, EA could catch on, and they can fix these, you know, these zones and how the DBs are dropping back. Um, but while they, while the plays work, take advantage of them, use them, and abuse them. Um, that's gonna be it for this video. I hope y'all enjoy it. I got another money play that can also beat all three zones. Um, and it's not hard to beat, man. You just drag route slant. It, it, it's so easy to beat man coverage. Um, but I got another money play for y'all, similar to this, and it can do the same thing. It could beat cover three, cover four, and cover two. It glitches cover three the same way this does. Um, so just be on the lookout. And for those of y'all are saying, you know, there's gonna be patches. Uh, these plays not may not work when the patch comes. Very true. Uh, but until that happens, use them and abuse them get you some touchdowns with them and trust me when the patch comes out and they fix certain things we're going to be back in the lab and we're going to find more money plays um i know my voice sounds a little raspy we're finally getting over that sickness i'm not coughing 24 7 um but i'm feeling better so just you know bear with me on that uh with all that being said go ahead like comment subscribe let's get it